Jane Weze, who's on standby, uh, of course, to put all of these in bird's eye view for us. Uh, Jane, uh, very pleased to know that you are there. Uh, what else do you know beyond what the uh, media officer of the Super Eagles, Promise Foge, has told us? Well, uh, of course, the first thing I can say I know is that this is an antics known for the North African teams. Uh, most other countries, uh, uh, parts of Africa have been complaining that CAF needs to demonstrate that they are not for North African teams in um, poor treatment of visiting uh, countries when they come, either as club sides or as um, players. But good enough, the Nigerian team uh, uh, on, way, on their way back to Nigeria, they will first of all land in Kano uh, for immigration clearance before touching down at Abuja and also in Lagos. That's uh, the best part of this. But um, the inhuman treatment that we met to the players, no food, no water, for almost about 20 hours now, uh, it's indescribable. I.K. Okay. All right, Jenny, a number of um, high-profile uh, sports personalities that I tried to uh, have conversations with you know, early this morning when the news broke uh, just said they couldn't uh, you know, put out any comments because they were waiting for the Nigeria Football Federation to lead in condemning this loathsome, irre uh, reprehensible you know, behavior from the uh, Libyan officials. Uh, have we heard anything from them? You know, you are in Abuja at the moment. Any statement you know, from the NFF? Or if not, why? Yeah, of course, as early as 6 a.m., uh, the communications director of the Nigerian Football Federation, uh, Ademola Lajiri, you know, uh, shared a statement uh, 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 explaining the team's plight as at then it was um, um, a 12 hour count of their experience since they left Nigeria uh, to uh, Benghazi, where they thought they were going to be London before they were redirected three hours away from there. And you've also had them sending out videos and um, trying to make communications. But just a few minutes ago, the Minister of Sports Development, uh, Senator John Owan Eno, actually addressed the press. Uh, he has, prior to that, he released the, an official statement talking about what the federal government have tried to do, you know, uh, being in contact with the CAF president directly, Mosepe, and the whole CAF sectorate to ensure, I mean, CAF was trying to propose that Nigeria should find a way to go ahead and play the game. CAF was ready to uh, send um, a private jet to, uh, uh, to uh, carry the team, to ferry the team back to Benghazi and maybe reschedule for them to play. But the federal government stood their ground and said that what they cared about was safety. And at that point, it didn't look like the players had confidence that they would be safe in the country that treated them right. that way. So uh, the federal government, I think, eventually won this one. So the match is right. not holding. The team is coming back to Nigeria. And CAF will probably have to, you know, look at a, a disciplinary um, a situation and take further a decision on what will happen. Well, if we remember in 2021, also when uh, Gabon went through a similar uh, incident with Gambia, uh, eventually they played, but they lost that game 2-1, and CAF went ahead to award three points to Gabon. Uh, I think maybe All we right. might be All seeing right. a similar situation here also for uh, the Nigerian team. All right, uh, Jane Weze, our correspondent in Abuja. Many thanks indeed, of course, uh, for uh, talking to us about the incident. Well, uh, we do hope that the Eagles arrive in Nigeria uh, safely after that.